It is time now for Digital You. While Netflix has its eye on expanding, music companies like RDO and Spotify just want consumers to understand their business. Here's RDO CEO Anthony Bay. People are still trying to figure out streaming and different models and different customer office offers. And we really haven't had it yet. We haven't had that Netflix moment, if you will, where everybody gets what Netflix is. And, and we haven't had that in music. So the big question is, how does that happen? So if you look at, at the broad base of subscription and music streaming, most people don't understand it. It really, people, people okay, I get, I get buying a CD, I get downloading a song. What is this subscription streaming thing? What does it mean? And so the first thing is, how do you, how do you help people understand what's going on, what the, what the choices are? The second thing is uh, when it comes to spending money, people historically, both on CDs and on downloads in, in the U.S. RDO just announced a $3.99 streaming plan, $3.99 to reach a broader group of customers. They are hoping it will attract people who don't want to pay $9.99 for unlimited streaming, but want more services, more than free services packed with ads. Ten bucks seems to be the industry standard, though. Spotify, Tidal, Google Play, Beats Music, all of them start at that price. Rhapsody and RDO offer less expensive options, and Pandora, Spotify, and the startup Songza provide services for free. But keep watching the music world. We are expecting Apple to revamp Beats Music, and Spotify may get into video in the next few months.